Hello everyone. If you are watching my video first time, I am Suna Bhatt from Inners Academy. I am a certified international abacus teacher. I am a certified international Vedic mathematics teacher. I am basically a math teacher and also I am a fingerprint analyst. We are guiding the children and also elders for their happiest and successful life by identifying their real inborn talent and their multiple intelligence and also their potential as a teacher to guide the children for their happiest and successful life. In the previous video, you have seen how to add and less in the house number one, house number two and house number three um, by using students abacus. Today we are going to see how to do visualization in the abacus method. Visualization in abacus method is not by using the numbers, visualizing the beats. So what is the difference between visualization and imagination? Visualization. See, if I ask you, ask your child, um, what is the color of your school bag? Child will say red, blue, gray, some color. The child, which child has and he has already seen, but now he is able to recall that and he is able to visualize that. Suppose if I say tiger, child can understand that by picture, by visualizing it. If I say elephant, child can understand by visualizing the picture. By visualizing the picture, we will understand the things. Suppose if I say elephant, child can visualize. Suppose if I say flying elephant, child cannot visualize, child can imagine. No? Visualization is something, the things is they real, but at present it is not there in front of us. We have to visualize that, we have to see that, but things is there. Suppose it is imagination, imagination is something which is not there real, we can imagine anything. Flying elephant is, comes ele, flying elephant comes only in the stories, but we are able to visualize how elephant can fly in the air. No? This is the difference between visualization and imagination. So what we have to do here, we have to visualize, visualize the beats. Okay? How to do that? Let us see. Uh, how we are holding the abacus? Same method even even here we have to use. See, we are holding the pencil like this, holding the abacus like this. This is the way you have to use. It cannot be up, down, or somewhere here, somewhere here. No, keep in front of your eyes. Front of your eyes you keep. See, this is house number one. This is house number two. Okay, this is how we have to keep. We have to visualize the abacus here. Okay, we have abacus here. See, this is house number one. Okay. This is house number two. Now we will do only house number one. But both the hands you have to hold like this. How to do that? First thing is we have to visualize house number one here. House number one, how it is? Uh, how is the house number one? There is a divider. There is one bead, you can see on the abacus. One bead at the top and four beads down. So that is house number one. That you have to visualize here. Now let us try to do how to add and less. How to add and less? Numbers must not come. Add one means one be touching to the divider. One be touching to the divider. That is one. Again add one means one more bead moving towards the divider. That we have to visualize. That is two. Add two if we say two beads moving towards the divider. Already two we have. So that is four. How we are moving it on the abacus, same way we have to do it in the finger also. This is only by visualizing the beads. If the child is visualizing the beads and doing it, then child is able to do mental mathematics easily. Okay. So if they use the number to add it, or if you don't keep the finger, yes, I can do it in the mind. No, that is not the abacus method. If the child is not able to visualize the beads and he, if he is not moving the beads in the mind, just is counting the number in the mind, then what is the use of learning abacus? 
moving the beads in the mind and doing addition subtraction is the fastest way that is the reason we have to use this method okay now let us do some of the sums which is given here okay see the first one just we will uh, visualize and do that see the first one we will read it as add one add one add one add one right just hold this visualize zooming the back is no beads are touching to the divider this is house number one this is house number two what are the numbers one 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 add one that is one again add one one more bead is moving towards the divider that is two again add one three beads are moving towards the divider totally that is three again add one that is four so i have to visualize like this four beads are touching to the divider so that is four okay see the next one add two add two less one and add one that we have to visualize zoom here back us in the mind no beads are touching to the divider that you have to visualize this is house number one add two add two beads towards the divider that is two again add two four beads are there now now we have to less one see the fingers how we are moving on the back same way less one three beads are there that is three add one that is four okay see the next one now again zoom here back us in the mind no beads are touching to the divider visualize there is no beads touching to the divider in the house number one Okay, upper bead one, lower bead four. We have now. See the see the sum now. Add four. Four beads are touching to the divider. That is four. Add five. Upper bead. See the fingers. Upper bead is moving towards the divider. That is nine. Five one four. We have nine. Nine we have in the finger. Less three. Three beads away from the divider. Nine we had. Three beads are away from the divider. We have upper bead one. Lower bead one, we have six. Six is there. Add two. Two beads towards the divider. That is, yes, that is eight. Okay. Next, let us see the next one. Okay, fourth one. Zoom your backers in the mind. No beads are touching to the divider. Visualize that. See the beads. Add five. Switch the fingers. Upper bead is moving towards the divider. Add five. Add three. Three beads are moving towards the divider. Five. Add three. That is eight. Eight less two. Two beads away from the divider. Okay. So that is six. Six add three. Upper bead one. Lower bead one. You have add three beads. That will be. That will be. Yes. That is nine. Okay. See the next one now. Add seven. Uh, first, we have to zoom in the markers. Visualize there is no beads touching to the divider. Hold like this, and this finger also. Both we have to hold like this only. Then add seven. Upper bead one, lower bead two. Add seven. Seven in the hand. Add two. Two beads towards the divider. That is nine. Right, then less nine. Send all the beads away from the divider. You have to visualize that all the beads are moving away from the divider. No beads are touching to the divider. Okay, now add no beads are touching to the divider. Add eight. Upper bead one, lower bead three. Eight. So the answer is eight. Yes, that's eight. This is how you have to do the visualization by visualizing the beads, not numbers. Once if you learn abacus visualization, you have to move the beads in the mind, not numbers. Okay, this is how we have to do the mental mathematics by using abacus. You have to hold the fingers and do it. Now, many times children may say, "No, no, I will do it in the mind," but we cannot say whether they are using the beads in the mind or they are using the uh, numbers. So better to keep it like this. Move the beads here so that that will move in the mind also. 
so that this is the best way to do visualization okay that's all for today let us meet in the next video